you know, Alex, it's not often we get new guns in California because of the laws in California and the way they're done. And um, we're excited because we get to talk about the brand new Sig Sauer. Sig Sauer M18320CA right here on Reviews It. Back about six months ago, the state of California dropped their micro stamping rule in California. And what that means is that the firing pin and the extractor had to have the make, model, and serial number of the firearm that you had to be punched onto the primer and punched onto the casing of the rounds that you're shooting. I've heard about that. Isn't that on one of those science fiction movies? Yeah, it's all science fiction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> it was actually signed into law by Governor Schwarzenegger. The, the, the Democrat uh, Senate and Assembly passed the law. I think that was one of his movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sorry. yeah. Um, but here's the thing. He put in there, this law shall not be implemented until technology has reached that point. Technology has never reached that point, but back in 2014, Kamala Harris, as Attorney General of California, after her little um, rise to fame on Willie Brown's, um, never mind, Willie, um, she uh, said, oh yeah, it is, and she actually signed the law into existence and we have not seen a new gun in California since 2015 a new pistol because nobody can make a micro stamp yeah fast forward to this last March when the lawsuit was heading to the Ninth Circuit for the gun ban in California and one of their prime arguments was the micro stamping well California DOJ accepted it and deleted it from law administratively and now we've gotten how many guns? About four or five guns now? Uh, Ruger themselves have put out a couple guns. A couple guns. We've got the Max 9. Uh, we've got the Mark so, 4. Yeah, a couple of their 22s. I believe the LCP. 22. Two, that, that little. Two, 22. Yeah, that little tiny one. Yep. So yeah, they're starting to come out. It's starting to happen. Good. Well, this is one of those guns. This they one. were ahead of the game a little bit. And it is the 320 SIG. I mean, but it's, they call it the SIG. 320-M18-CA yeah. is what it's called. Yeah. And here it is. Now, the 320 is a special gun on its own because of its what modular features. How does that work? So basically it has that fire control group. You know, that's mm -hmm. what everyone was all jazzed about and excited about, and that's what's on their uh, P365s. So you're able to actually take out the fire control group and change out the grip module. The so, same thing for the 320s. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, you don't like this grip instead of having it go to a custom shop to get this, this, that, and whatever done to it and costing you a fortune, you could just simply buy a different grip module. So in the past, the lower part, the frame of the gun was, was the serialized the portion. Yeah, and that was the gun. Now it's a little fire control group that sits inside of the grip module. Springfield calls it their cog. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. This is the fire control group for here. Correct. Basically, the whole internals come out, and that is your gun. Yes. Just the internals. So you can actually buy different sleeves yep. or modules or whatever you want to Black, call it. Black, green, purple. You want a Punisher logo on there. You want yeah. what mm -hmm. have you. Companies that now can 3D print these things and just slide them on, and they work. Actually, I think there's a few companies, too, that have like a, a aluminum version. So people that want like that all steel vibe oh, to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You feel that, get that feel to it. Exactly. Custom yes. custom uh, etched gripping and all that other stuff. But what that also allows you to do is, okay, I'm going to move this from a smaller gun to a bigger gun. Okay. So, like, if you need a, um, if you need it, uh, instead of you want it compact, you want it full size, you could do that. Uh-huh. Yeah, all with that fire control group. Yeah. Just moving it in and boom on the other one. This one also has something that no other gun yet has had for California, and that is a plate right here for your uh, uh, red dot optic. Yep. It's a little different here. You have to take the gun apart and then there is some Allen wrenches underneath that release this plate. Basically, you're taking the upper from the lower, you're flipping it around, you're taking out those L Allens, and you're taking off the full plate. So you're actually gonna be losing your rear sight as well. Because that's all part of one yeah. mechanism here. Yeah. Yeah, so do they make them though that you can have the rear sight elevated? I'll be quite honest with you, I haven't looked that far into it yet. You know, but just... on the echelon, they co-witness with theirs because it's a lower mount. Yeah, they, they're they're kind of ahead of the game right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, when it comes comes to price wise, um, this one runs around eight fifty, eight sixty. Uh, I believe eight seventy is what they're going for right now. Okay. And I hate to talk about the echelon, because but it's not a California gun. I understand that, but that one's almost two hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. No. Because that is the direct competitor to this right now. Yeah. Well, you can see our video. We just did it about a week ago. It's right here. Just uh, look back on our videos, and you'll see that one on the echelon. I don't even want to say it's a competitor, but <laughs> I, I think very highly of that echelon. But, you know, let, let's no, give this one a shot. I tell you what, it, the average law-abiding Californian can buy this one now. They can't buy that echelon yet. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Let's go over the stats on this gun real quick, okay? So, it is a 9mm, and it comes with three mags. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I got the one here, one 10 round mag, plus it has two more inside the box. What else has it got? Um, it's got the uh, 7.2 inches overall length. Yep. 1.6 inches wide. That's about mm, a half inch more than any compact gun. I mean, yeah. compacts are getting below one inch now. Yeah. Uh, this is a full size gun. Don't don't make any mistake on that. Uh, five point five height from the bottom here to the top, and weight is twenty six point one ounces or seven hundred and ninety seven grams, and the sight radius is five point eight front to back. So this would pretty much be. I don't want to say this is a competitor for the Echelon because I'm not trying to go down that road. Sure, sure, but sure. The Echelon is technically a full size. I believe the M18 is actually considered a compact. It's more like a Glock 19. Okay. Yeah, so I believe the M17 version of the 320 is the full size. Okay. So this one would be considered a little bit more compact Glock 19 or uh, a SIG 229 mm -hmm. size. A made in America here. And a couple things about this gun that makes it unique from the 320. This one here, the trigger doesn't work until you put a magazine in it because California. of California rules. California. Let's feel this trigger reset. Nice. I mean, it's got a nice pullback. It's almost a little bit too hard going back, but it definitely resets it. Yeah. Not too bad. Give it a try. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's definitely more noticeable than some other guns, mm -hmm. but it's not as uh, abrupt as a Glock would be. No. Right? Uh, you got your takedown lever here. Magazine pops out real nice and smooth. You got a steel mag, not a, not a plastic one like uh, some Glocks do, other Glocks do, so they stick a little bit. Yeah. But these just whoop, pop yeah. right out. Pop right out. Uh, these only come in tan over uh, bronze. That's the only configuration they come in right now. I'm sure they'll have more in the future because yeah. California doesn't have the color rule anymore. So maybe that'll change a little bit. Uh, all the 320s uh, come in, oh, how many different colors right now? Is it all the, only this? I'll be honest with you, with the 320s, I think it's the black and I think this color right here. So there's black and then there's the uh, flat dark earth and maybe bronze. Because there's two different colors here. Well, it's I, I don't want to say it's copying, but it, it seems like it's kind of like the, the Glock 19X. So yeah. you remember how the 19X frame was a different color from the slide? I, I think it's kind of similar to that. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's got ambi controls on the top too, right? Safety. Yeah, it's got ambi safety and ambi release. Nice. Nice. And they're small ones. Uh, not out there so much that your thumb will hit it. It's nice and small. And it's got a little cover too right here on it. it it's got a little block for it so you, so you can't uh, you know, accidentally hit it. And then you'll have to flip over the... Uh, yeah, the mag yeah. release. Yeah, that's, that's pretty common. The only gun that I've ever seen that on both sides was that echelon. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, or, I, I, I was doing all kinds of fun stuff with that when I was playing with yeah. that gun. Or, or you get an HK that has that release right there, yep. but I really don't care for that. Nice big trigger guard, and it's got a light rail on it, so any kind of light system will fit on this gun if you want to put a lighter laser on this thing. But it does have the only California gun that has yeah. an MOS or a, a red a reflex sight uh, mount. Yep. Well, that's about the gun right there. Why don't we go in and give it a whirl on the range? All right, let's go. So you're gonna let me go first this time. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. 
I want to thank my buddy Dave. Uh, we got three of these guns in just a few days ago, and they actually had came in while I was out of the country the first time. We got two, I think, or one the first time. And when they saw the picture, three people on the bus I was on on our mission trip said, hold one for me, hold one for me, hold one for me. And three came in and they were all sold within about two hours because everybody came in and purchased them. These are very hot items in California right now. Uh, the only complaint that I would, I'd gotten from my buddy Dave was this is a little too far out for his smaller hands, but you can get different grip modules to make that fix also. Yep. So let's give this a try. This is the SIG 320 M18 CA right here on reviews it. It's got a little tiny loaded chamber indicator right here. Little tiny loaded chamber indicator so that's about that's about where we're at. Let's get a nice firm stance and let's see what this thing does. Safety off. Oh crap. Oh crap. mackerel that reset is perfect perfect come take a look at this thing we're up we're open right here this is my last shot because I blinked but check that out your first two three shots were dead center you couldn't even see them going through the black right here holy mackerel what a smooth shooting gun ready to give it a try I don't know if I want to follow that. <laughs> Let's go. All right. SIG P320 M18 California version. We are clear. Let's see what I can do. Clear? Clear. Actually, that was pretty nice. I, I Reluctantly, I have to say, I, I kind of rather enjoyed that. And I'll explain why I say reluctantly later on. But let's go take a look. So, not quite as good as yours, but I'm still pretty happy with it. To be quite honest with you, you're right. That trigger feels good. That reset's nice. I I like it. I, I gotta say, I do like it. I, I, I may have to pick one up. Let's go finish off our review. So, uh, you said reluctantly, what does that mean? So, I actually had an M18 320 that I'd gotten off a young man in a private party sale. Okay. About eight months to a year ago. Okay. Had it, very excited. Bought a Wilson Combat grip module for it. I was jazzed and happy i got it and it didn't feel near as good as this I, I can't describe it it just my groupings were really off it just it just didn't feel as good as this i, I gotta say the trigger feels better on this the grip module is the same there, there's no change there yeah but i think I, I don't know. I don't know if SIG did do something different with the trigger, but I honestly can say I was not looking forward to this review. I was going to, oh, I'm here. I'm going to do it. But after shooting it right now, I can't lie. I'm I'm honestly thinking about maybe adding one of these to my safe. So of all of the California guns that are legal available right now, this one now has set the bar. It, it's up there. It, it really the is up there. I, and I got to say, I, I enjoy For it. For a mid-size gun, it has literally set the bar. Yeah. The reset was great. Yeah. I cannot believe how well I shot with this thing. I cut the whole lot of my lead. My first few shots, you couldn't even see it go through. Yeah. No, I, I saw that. And I, I, I again, I, I'm kind of shocked. And I, I might have to. If I'd have spent ones. another half second, 
on every one of my shots, I would have probably got them all through the same hole. Yeah. But I started speeding up a little bit and it started creeping up just a little bit. Yeah. But my goodness, what a gun. Yes, very nice. This is the SIG, three SIG 320-M18-CA California Legal Sig Sauer 9mm. Uh, barrel length is a three and a half inch, four inch. Actually, I think it's closer to like 3.9 something. 3.9 inch, yeah. right? So it's a four inch gun, basically. Yeah. And uh, bravo, SIG. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm glad that we got a chance to do this video because, like I said, three weeks ago I was over in uh, Africa and I'm, that's when our first ones came in and we couldn't shoot them. Yeah. And thank you, Dave, for letting us try this one out. Yeah. Thanks, now Dave. it's time to get this one all cleaned up so he can get it. And uh, <laughs> we're so happy that uh, we're able to have new guns in California. Yeah. I'm Todd. This is Alex. And thank you for watching Reviews It. Hit subscribe below.